and I'm right here in the landing path. And here's my shuttle. Hey, how are you? Hey, I'm magnificent. Headed to Phoenix. Can't wait to see family. And uh, yeah, couldn't have been better timing. Thank you, take care. Thank you. Having fun in the pool. It's like 9.30 a.m. on Saturday morning and I'm just loving life. What did you say? You were coughing like you swallowed a rat. Yeah, I felt like I swallowed a rat. <laughs> well, good morning to you too, Eric. It, it was, I did inhale quite a bit of water. <sighs> Went up the nose. <laughs> Emily, from your perspective, what is the key to life? What a big being question. happy. What a big question. Um, you know, finding things that you like to do, I think, things that make you happy, and it could be different for everyone. And some days it could be different, right? Some days what makes me happy is like laying on the couch. Some days what makes me happy is just like sitting right here in my yard and just looking at all these cool. Um, some days it's drinking a ton of wine. It could be different every day. Just starting to get more selfish in my, as I get older, just uh, if I don't want to do something, I just don't do it. And that might have a negative effect on other people that want me to do it, but I just can't do things for other people at some point. Just kind of have to do what you want to do. And you know, there's compromise, obviously, if you don't, you don't want to spend time with someone, but you don't maybe want to go to that, do what they want to do, there's compromise, but for the most part, I just do what I want to do and I don't really care about other people. Sounds really bad, doesn't it? But maybe that's how you'd be happy. Well, you know, it's certainly not serving others, but uh, serving ourselves is, in a, in a way, serving others because if we're not fully happy ourselves, how can we expect ourselves to be uh, able to uh, enrich and enlighten other people's lives. Yeah, you know, and I mean, I think one thing you can do is find people that like to do the things you like to do too, right? Yeah. Um, so, um, and do, do things with those people and that's, I don't know, there's like no secret. I'm still looking for it. If you find it, let me know. Well, I think it goes beyond it being an actual secret and really just being in that pure essence of a flow state which ends up being this you know ever-changing evolving feeling so it's like feeling into who we are what we prefer you know and having that space that we can continue to move into what we prefer and knowing in our heart what we feel uh, and not getting our minds too wrapped up in and what we're actually, you know, what excites us yeah. to, to live life fully, right? Yeah. So, so how can we continue to live our lives as fully as possible and, uh, and have that balance between the selfishness of, you know, doing what's right for ourselves yeah. uh, and also have that balance between self and community, um, which is definitely, uh, you know, that's something that I think a lot of people are uh, 
you know, working with, especially in this time, you know, so we can actually, you know, segue between, you know, this, this treacherous human, you know, war, yeah. internal issues, and, you know, just being the divine people that we, that we know we are, and not having to actually do anything to, to do and be happy. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I think that it is a balance, and that sometimes takes people long time to find, right? So for a long time, I felt like I was always doing all these other things for other people. And over the last four months, maybe that's why I'm like on this extreme selfishness side right now that I was talking about earlier, because, you know, I was way over here, and it kind of got burned by that, and so I decided to move drastically to the other side. So I'm hoping within the next you know, six months or a year, I can move back into the middle somewhere. But I think you have to experience both sides maybe before you can get into that middle of like yourself and others and selflessness and selfishness working together. Well said. Well said. So we're learning. I hope you out there in YouTube land are continuing to learn and acknowledge what it is that makes you happy. Peace. I see kids now have replaced their thumb for two fingers. Is that like a trend? Is he a trendsetter? I think so. Oh.